Hi, Steve Gale here. In this video, I'm going to demonstrate uh, building out this lab using ping and traceroute to test network connectivity. So I'll start off by um, uh, bringing in the networking devices. So I'm going to use um, I'm going to use uh, 4321s. So I'll just bring in um, two 4321s here, and for R1 and for R for OSP. Um, then I'm going to use a um, uh, switches. I'm going to use a uh, whoops, a uh, switches a twenty nine sixty switch here, and I want an end device. So I want a PC on this end, and I want a server on the other end. So I'll spread these out a bit. Spread them out a little bit more. Okay, so now I've got my networking devices. On the on the packet tracer, I want to cable it up, and you can see here the PC is connected to F06. So I'll use Ethernet and a fast Ethernet to um, F06, and then I've got F05 to G001. So fast Ethernet 05 to gigabit 001, and um, then on the other side of R1, I've got um, gigabit 000 going to gigabit 000 and then on this side of r1 on the external side of r1 i've got gigabit 001 going to the ethernet port of the um, fast ethernet port of the server okay so now that i've cabled everything up the next thing i need to do is i need to um, do the configuration now First of all, before I do the configuration, what I might do is I might just place the um, the IP addresses that I need to configure on these devices. So I've got the first one here. So I'll just um, make a new one here. Paste those in. And then for my switch. And then for the internal interface of R1, place up here. And the outside interface of R1, up there. Then I've got the, um, the inside interface of ISP router, up there. And I've got the outside interface, the ISP router, which I'll put up here. And finally, the IP addresses of my server, which I'll put over here. Okay, we just tidy this up a bit. And it looks good. So in terms of the configuration, the configuration is given for me. But the first thing that I need to do is I need to um, configure... Um, dual stack mode on IPv4, IPv6 on the switch. So what I'll do is I'll go into the switch and I'll go to CLI and um, I've got my um, switch prompt here. So I'll just go into config mode. And I'm going to grab that command, SDM preferred dual IP4, IPv6 default. And I'll copy that and I'll just paste that in there, hit enter. And it says that it can't take effect until the next reload. So what I'll do is I'll type in in and I'll do a reload. And it asks me to save the configuration. Well, I've just changed the configuration. So yes, I need to save that configuration. And then can proceed with the reload, hit enter. And what that'll do is that'll reload the switch. And the switch will then allow that dual, dual IPv4, IPv6 allows me to configure both an IPv4 and an IPv6 address on the switch. So let's scroll down here. Now you're given these configurations. So this is your configuration for R1. So what I can do is I can go to R1, which is this one. So I'll just, so I'll just rename it, call it R1, and I'll rename this one and call it ISP. 
So I'll go to R1 and I'll go to the CLI and I'll say no to that. And then I've got my, um, my router prompt. So what I'll do is I'll enable and go into config mode. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to grab all of this, which is my R1 configuration. And I'm going to copy it. And then I'm going to go and paste it all in. And notice now my router is configured as R1. So what I've done is I've just basically executed all of these commands in sequence by pasting them into the um, into the into the console. So next thing I'm going to do is the initial configuration for ISP. So I'm going to kind of copy all of that and copy and go into my ISP router. Go to CLI. Say no to that. Enable. Configure from the terminal. And then I right click and paste all of that in. And you can now see that my ISP router is configured. OK, so I've configured the switch. I've configured R1 and I've configured ISP. And you can see now that all of these LEDs have lit up all the way through. But I still need to configure my PC and my server. So let's have a look at the um, PC configuration. Um, you can also configure a host table on the R1 router as well. Um, so let's let's do that as well. Let's go in here, and it's still in config mode. So I'll copy all of these. Copy and paste, and all of my host entries have been configured. So what a host entry does is means instead of typing out that IP address, I can just type in ping external v4 or ping ISP v4 or ping ISP v6. Just makes it a little bit easier in terms of the testing, which is part two. So I still need to configure these PCs. So let's have a look at the, um, bring up the PCs. So PCA, so I'm gonna go in here and I'm going to go to desktop and I'm going to go to IP configuration. And I want 192.168.1.10 and to slash 24, so 255.255.0. My default gateway is going to be 192.168.1.1. Put that in. This is my default gateway. And you can see here it's in, it's in this table over here. And now I want to do IPv6. So my, my IPv6 address is 2001 DB8 colon ACAD colon 1 colon colon 10 and it's a slash 64. Yep. And I'm not given a link local address, so I can use the default link local address. That'll be fine. And my default gateway is um, FE80 colon colon one. So let's put that in. FE80 colon colon one. Yep, and that's done. So you can see here, my default gateway here is FE80 colon colon one. It's not mentioned on here, but I probably should put it on. So here we're going to put um, FE80 colon colon one, which is my link local address of this router. Okay, so I also need to configure my server. So let's go to my server. This is called external and do the same thing here. So I'll go to config, oops, no, I'll go to desktop, IP configuration. And now this is a slash 27. So what does that mean? So we've got 192.0.9.165.200.226 is the IP address. 
and slice 24, 25, 26, 27. So that's 128 plus 64, which is 192 plus 32, 193 would be 224. So it'll be 225.225.225.224. My default gateway is 291652225. Copy that. And don't need to wonder about worry about DNS server. So my IPv6 address is here. Let's see if I can copy that. So let's put that in. To run DBA ACAD 200 to colon colon 226, and that's a slash 64. Yep. And my default gateway is FE A colon colon 225. Okay. So that's done. And I'll just put that um, that extra one down here. So FE A colon colon 225. Okay. So now that I've configured all of the, I've done all the configuration, um, we can get into doing the testing. But I'm just going to do a very brief test. So there's a process that you need to go through for doing the testing, but I just want to see that everything is working. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to go into here and I'll go to desktop and I'll just bring up a command prompt and I'll just try pinging my server, which is ping. 209.165.200.226. We'll see how the IPv4 ping goes. First one times out. Second one should time out. Third one should kick in, and it has. Okay, so I've got two request times out because I've got two router hops between my source and my destination. So I just want, now that shows me that my IPv4 is working. So let's try the IPv6. So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to say ping um, 2001 colon DB8 colon ACAD colon 200 colon colon two six. And we've got connectivity. Okay, so now we can safely say that all of our IP addresses must be configured if we can configure from, we can ping from this PC to this server and back again. So once you've done that, you can continue with the, um, the testing procedure in part two and, um, and work your way through the lab. Great, thanks very much for watching.